Hey you guys, Sai Baby here and I'm back with another video. As you can see by the title, I'm going to show you guys my wash day routine. First, I'm going to start by pre-pooing. I use shea butter and my oil mix, which is Jamaican black castor oil, argan oil, and coconut oil. After I mix those two in, I go ahead and section my hair. I get my spray bottle and I apply a generous amount on each section. When I'm pre-pooing, I usually just finger detangle, but if you want to detangle with a brush, that's up to you. Gonna braid that away and on to the next section. As you guys see, it can get a little messy. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my oil mix directly to my scalp so it can sit with the mix. I went ahead and used a plastic bag as my shower cap. If you have a shower cap, that is fine. Both work exactly the same. Then I put my satin cap on top for heat for 35 minutes. If you happen to twist your bag like mine's, make sure you unravel it completely and not just snatch the bag off. You will snatch edges. I repeat, you will snatch edges. So now I'm gonna unravel it and go in with a detangling brush. This kind of makes it easier to manage my hair when I'm washing it. Give your hair a good rinse, preferably with warm or lukewarm water. Yes, I do section my hair when I wash it. Now I'm going in with Ozzy's Miracle Moist Shampoo. I pretty much just start from the roots and make my way to the ends. Now I'm using the Ozzy's Miracle Moist Conditioner. I just don't feel complete without washing and conditioning my hair. Definitely make sure you detangle your hair when you're conditioning. Once everything is rinsed out, then you're gonna get your rice water. I have a video on my Instagram. I'll link it in the description box below so you know how to make it. After I strain my rice water, I transfer it to a spray bottle so that it's easier to cover every strand of hair. Now I'm going to section my hair so that it's easier to deal with. After spraying the rice water in my hair, I'm going to twist each section off. By the way, if you've never used rice water before, it does smell pretty bad. And if you can't handle that smell, it's best to add orange peels or essential oils in your rice water mix when fermenting. After twisting off each section, I usually go ahead and spray my whole head with the rest of the rice water mix just to make sure every area is covered. I also cover this with a bag or shower cap and then I cover it with my satin cap and then I go ahead and leave it in for 25 minutes. 
It's usually between 15 to 25 minutes. It's pretty much depending on how your hair reacts to rice water. Now I'm rinsing this out with warm water. I'm pretty much making sure all of the rice water is rinsed out of my hair completely. This is how my hair usually looks after rinsing out rice water. If your hair is completely dried out after using rice water, it's pretty much best you don't use it again. Now I'm going to go in with Ozzy's 3 Minute Miracle Curls Deep Conditioner. I pretty much use this with my detangling brush to make sure I get through my curls thoroughly. And I'm going in with yet another bag. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, if you don't keep your grocery bags after going to the store, I'm so sorry. I have all the bags, I have to use my bags. I'm covering this with my satin cap and waiting for 35 minutes. At this point, I just leave my braids in and rinse out the mask so that I already have my sections for when I'm moisturizing. I was so done with wash day, but thank you guys for watching. New viewers, subscribe. Side baby out.